Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, turn to Romans 8, 28, please. Um, Romans 8, 28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are called according to His purpose. And remember, the big thing that I keep pointing out, brothers and sisters in Christ, it says, to them that love God. Jesus said, if a man love me, he will keep my words and my father will love him and we will come and make our abode with him um, Bible says sanctify them through thy truth thy word is truth uh, we take this book right here and we hide it in our hearts thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee that's what it means to them that love God okay? you're doing your best to live God's word then all things work together for good as long as you're living for God's Word and living it. To them who are called according to His purpose. Right? His purpose. Remember the body talks about how we have, the body of Christ, the Bible talks about how, uh, the King James Version, talks about how we have uh, many members. One body, many members. Okay? Everyone has different callings. But it's always by His purpose. God's the one that's always the final authority, and His will be done. That's what we're supposed to pray for. We're supposed to pray that His will is done on earth as it is in heaven. Okay. Um, I just wanted to read, because I, I had some brethren give me this verse as encouragement. But brothers and sisters in Christ, my daughter didn't make it. My daughter didn't make it. She passed away, and I want to thank all the brethren for praying for me. I want to thank you so much for praying for me. And uh, i got a study here. Like I said, I, I want to try to get it out, but I've got to see what, what's going on on the family side to see if there's going to be a um, memorial service and whatnot. Um, Jump down to verse 35. Jump down to verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sore? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I persuade that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I just once again, I want to just thank the brethren for all their prayers. And all things work together for good to them that love God. Like I said, I'll try to get this Bible study, how are we supposed to react slash respond to the lost world. And one of the things is, is no matter what happens out there, one of the big things in here that the brethren are forgetting to do, and now it's like God's testing me, that the brethren are forgetting to do is to give God glory in all things. And they give Him thanks in all things, no matter what happens, good, bad, seems in the good times it seems easy to give God thanks in the good times but there's some brethren out there that are taking all the glory for themselves for all the good th times and the good things and, and everything that they do they're taking all the glory for it and all the credit and they're not giving God the glory but the hardest times to give God glory brother and sister Christ is in tough times to give him thanks when bad things are happening those are the toughest times and I wanted to get really talk about that in this study so um, just an update thank you for your prayers brother sister Christ my daughter did not make it um, she's in God's hands right now all right. she's in God's hands um, just like with all our say all our family members that have passed away everybody's in God's hands remember brother sister Christ everybody has to answer to Jesus Christ someday saved and lost everybody has to answer to Jesus Christ someday Please, please get out there and make sure that if you haven't,
please, please tell your family members about Jesus Christ. It might sound like, well, I don't know, they might already know about Jesus Christ or this or that. Please, brother and sister Christ, get out there and make sure that you have witnessed to all your family members. And if they reject Jesus Christ, brush the dust off your feet and you move on. It still hurts. When they pass away, it still hurts. But brush the dust off your feet, but make sure that you're, you're out there still witnessing for Jesus Christ. So it's just going to be a short video, a short update. So grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And my love for you, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching.